We start this week's roundup of the Liga action in Lille, where champions Paris Saint-Germain were the visitors to the Stade pierre Mauroy. Lille were reduced to 10 men after Marvin Martin was dismissed for a bad challenge on Johan Cabaye. PSG took advantage and went in front through Marquinhos. The Brazilian heading home a rebound after Lucas had seen his initial effort saved by Vincent Enyema. Lucas wasn't to be denied. Second time round though, drilling low into the far corner after being picked out by Javier Pastore to double the capital club's lead. The Brazil winger then turned provider for PSG's third goal, playing in Blaise Matuidi, who steered home to make it 3-0. Jonathan De La Place netted a rare goal to pull one back for Lille late on, but it was nothing more than consolation as it finished 3-1 to PSG. San Etienne still have a fighting chance of playing in next season's Champions League after routing Nantes. It was the Max Alain Gradel and the Midland Erding show in Brittany as the former supplied the latter for the opening goal. Erding played a key role in the visitors' second, drawing a foul from Cuffey. Gigi inside the box with Gradel and stepping up to fire home the ensuing penalty. And Erding was the recipient of another Gradel pass. The Turkish forward with a superb first time strike to take his tally to 11. Serge Gappe nats the late consolation for Nantes as it ended 3 1 at Saint Etienne. Leon were dealt a blow in their quest to seal a place in the Europa League next term after coming a cropper at home to Lorient. Jake Decroix turns in Brian Pelé's cross for his first goal in the French top flight as Lorient won 1-0. Marseille missed a chance to steal a march on Lyon in the race for fifth and a spot in the Europa League after they were held at Bordeaux. Benoit Cheru headed Marseille into a first half lead but the visitors were pegged back midway through the second half as Jake Diabate notched his 12th goal this term. It finished one apiece at the Stade at Chaban Del Mar. There was another chapter in Sochaux's late season escape act as Hervé Renard's side earned a rare away win at Rennes. Jordan I rifled in the opening goal for the visitors, but Sochaux were dealt a blow when Paul George and Tep doubled for Rennes on 72 minutes. Substitute Emmanuel Mayuka scored a priceless winner with the 13 minutes remaining, though, at the Stade de la Route de Lorient to ensure Le Lyon So lived to fight on another week. Evian kept themselves out of the bottom three after seeing off a woeful niece at the Parc des Sports in Annecy. Nemanja Pacinovic was at fault for both goals, the first scored by Kevin Berigo, who became Evian's leading scorer in the top flight. Nicolas Benize capitalised another error from the niece kept in the second half to steer the host to a 2 0 victory. It's been a fabulous past week for Gangor as the Brittany club assured themselves of top flight football next season by beating Toulouse 2-0. Claudio Bovu headed the French Cup winners into an early lead at the stand at Rouderou. Mustafi Atabari then drilled home a spot kick shortly after to take his team leading goals tally to 11. 2-0, Gangor, the final score. Monaco avenged an early defeat to the Valenciennes as they handed Ariel Jacobs beleaguered side. A sixth defeat in a row at the Stade de Eno. Valer Germain put Monaco ahead just before half-time. Tongu Dumbia equalised for Valenciennes midway through the second half. But a wonder strike from Neville Durat. Three minutes from time and did all three points to Monaco as Claudio Ranieri's second place side won 2-1. Bastia claimed a rare of a victory at Montpellier as Frederick Hans's men climbed back into the top half. Sambu Yatebari volleyed in the opener on the stroke of half time at the Stade de la Mosson before Wabi Kazri made the point safe as Bastia ran out 2 0 winners. Well, it's been a season to forget for a Jack so but the Islanders did at least sign off on a high note in front of their own fans by defeating Rance. Kaji Tallo got the ball rolling for the Corsican outfit, sticking him a rebound to give a Jack a third minute lead. Renzi Peroso nets a quick five second for Christian Bracconi's team, who held on for just a fourth victory of the campaign, that despite of Prince Onyange pulling one back for Rance. Well, here's a recap of all the results from week 37. Victory for Gangor ensures their league and status for next season, while wins for both Evian and Sochaux means the relegation battle will go down to the wire. With their fourth league and title already sewn up, PSG entered the record books with the most points in a single season, surpassing the 84-point mark set by Lyon over the course of the 2005-06 season. Lyon and Saint-Étienne are still battling it out for third.
the fight to avoid joining a jacksuit and Valenciennes in Ligue 2 next year will reach a climax next weekend with everyone on the show it's still fighting for survival. Gangon climb at one spot to 15th, while Toulouse drop into the bottom half of the table. All games in next Saturday's final round of matches will once again kick off at 9 o'clock. Without question, the biggest match takes place at the Stade Bonnel, where the show hosts Evian in what will be a straight shootout to avoid the drop.